You have seven wives. Mm -hmm. You're 48 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, according to your answer, I needed a scorecard in my head. Let's see if I've got some of the facts right. You married three sets of sisters, mm -hmm. correct? Correct. You married the two youngest, the two children of your fourth wife, so you were their stepfather. And those, the, your two youngest wives are your two stepdaughters from your fourth wife. Is that right? Not exactly right. Well, um, let me look at your answer, sir. You say your two youngest wives are the children of your fourth wife, June. But they're not. But they're not my youngest wives. And, oh. And one of them he married before he married June. You see, it wasn't that I married my stepdaughter. It was that I married my mother-in-law. I see. June's so you were married to one of June's children first. Yes. And how old was that child when you oh, married was her? Her daughter. How old was the child when her, you married her? Her daughter. Her daughter yes. was. Her daughter was fifteen. And how old were you? Uh. I was in my mid-30s. Okay. Uh, and then, after you married that child at age 15, then you married I her mother, I can see you June. Like the, I, I can see you, like, stigmatizing them by saying child. Well, sir, in, I in had five state, children. A 14, a 15-year-old, you married your second mm -hmm. wife, Linda, when she was 14. Mm -hmm. You married your third wife, Shirley, when she was 15, according to your answer. Mm -hmm. You married your fifth wife, Leanne, when she was 14, mm -hmm. you married your sixth wife, Carrie, when she was 15, and you married Hannah, wife number seven, when she was 14. Where's Hannah? Hi, Hannah. That's, That's you. Correct. You're 19 now. Yes. You have one child. Yes. And where's Carrie? Right here. And you're 21 now, and you have two children. I'm 20, and I have two children, yes. And Leanne? Right here. You're 22. You have three children. You were 14 when you got married. Is yes. that right? Well, um, sir, you know that polygamy is against the law, against Should the law in the country where you choose to live. I don't think so. Well, tell me why you don't think so. Well, I don't think there's a law in the U.S. code against polygamy. Well, there, it, there, it is there against is the law in every jurisdiction, mm -hmm. in every individual jurisdiction in this country, sir. It's against the law to have more than one marriage license and assume to have both of them valid, but it's not against the law to enter into a relationship with more than one person. That's true. So then, oh, that's true. We have a lot of people who have a lot of relationships, Mr. Green. That's true. But you, according to your answer, refer to these people as wife numbers one well, through seven. Are we going to talk about my definition of my relationship or the laws? If you want to talk about the laws... I don't have a marriage license with any of these ladies, so in essence, they're all mistresses. Am I the only man in America to have a mistress or more than one? All oh, right. Are there laws against that? You see, so in, that, in Utah, so that what you're saying, Mr. Green, you know, judge, is, in Utah, just a second. What you're saying, Mr. Green, is that you're not married to any of these women. In no, my, really. in what? my mind, I'm married. Our relationship is the same as if it was a, a marriage sanctioned by the government. But I don't believe that we require a governmental sanction to make a successful relationship. Oh. If the government wanted to arrest us and come after us, they would have to arrest everyone that was cohabitating without a marriage license. Oh, well, I see you've got this down pretty pat. Mr. Green? Yes, ma'am. Tell me some other things about you, sir. Tell me what you do for a living. I sell magazines. Okay. Uh, you're an independent contractor? Yes. Did you file tax returns last year? Yes. How much did you earn? That's personal. No, it's not. You're under oath. I asked you a question. How much did you earn when you filed your tax returns last year, sir? Um, I refuse to discuss my personal finances. <laughs>